He's busy, busy, and I'm busy, busy, and it just works, doesn't it? <laughs> we did have a few bumps in the roads because of that. Just he's not a part of what I'm, I'm having to deal with and go through, and I'm not really a part of what he's going through. I was 25, drove myself to Amy. I was like paralysed, like in pain, like could not move. Had a couple of scans, someone was diagnosed right there and then. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four, yeah. And I started my treatment a week later because of the stage I was at. I had no time for anything. I had literally had to have treatment right away. When something like that happens to you, brings everything kind of back down to earth a wee bit. We're like, we've done nothing. We've done nothing together. We've not done any of the things that we wanted to do. We've not been anywhere. We've just never had that time. It was devastating. I had heard the story and I was lying in my bed and Nico came in. I never kind of cried when I was at the hospital. Um, and then I remember I opened the door. And he said to me, she's only 26 and he started screaming. Fell on the bed and we both just burst into tears. He lay down with me in the bed and we just, we just cuddled for around five, ten minutes. And he literally just, after five or ten minutes, he jumped off the bed. Boom. And I just stopped and I just stopped crying. And it was like that kind of feeling as if when I was young and training and all that, when you were in the shit in the kitchen and it's all going wrong and you're just like, no, you need to, you need to go, you need to keep pushing forward, you need to keep pushing forward, you need to keep pushing forward. And like that kind of army training. And that's what I mean, this is why I think like chefing like saved my life. It was pretty bad. For the stage of cancer I was at and the kind of fast growing tumour I had, it was like they were blasting me. I was told at the beginning, probably 99% will not have children because of the kind of chemotherapy, chemotherapy you're going to have and uh, we don't have time for you to freeze your eggs. So when I walked in pregnant with him, my doctors were like, what? And I was like, you told me this wouldn't happen. Like, I was shocked to my core. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to even have him because of me and everything I've been through. But these babies have come along as a total surprise and a total miracle. And that for me is huge. Within two years, was like married, had a son, bought a house. Maybe it always clicked into place because like, it was just God, maybe. For me, the kids are everything I want to devote my time to now. And unfortunately enough, I can't do that. So I don't look too much into the future anymore. I just kind of roll with what's going on. It's about him living his dream right now and enjoying that, I think. I really only really think I say that though because of what I've been through. You get one life, I just think I've got to let him enjoy that and go for it and give it everything so that, you know, can't turn in one day and be like, see, that's because you didn't let me do that. <laughs>